Hey guys, so it's here, Stella's Heather, and it is 17 weeks. I cannot believe I'm at 17 weeks. It's so crazy. And it's just me today. Daddy is at work, and we've got a busy day. We have been so busy lately. If you haven't seen our daily vlogs with the spring break coming up, so it's just me today. But I did want to get to this update before our gender reveal and find out what the baby is and tell you guys all what happened in our last appointment and everything like that. What you guys saw if you saw the daily vlog that we went to our appointment and dad went with me to that one which was really cool and got to talk to the doctor that had delivered Claire and just to listen to the heartbeat and fun things like that. So then it was really fun to like set up the actual day that we were going to find out what the baby is and we're still going back and forth on if we want to find out at the ultrasound if we want her to like put it in an envelope and we open the envelope later just me and Joel by herself or if we want to just find out at the gender reveal with everybody else or just do something with the girls I mean there's just so many different scenarios that we could do and there's so many different gender reveals things that we are thinking about and we're gonna check on today and I think I'm gonna edit this and get this up today also which would be really awesome because I don't have much of a daily vlog yesterday because it was just so busy at the salon and everything and didn't get to film a lot but I did film some switching out the girls seasonal clothes and getting out their smaller things so we actually so we go this Tuesday morning at nine o'clock is our ultrasound and get to see the baby I'm so excited to see the baby and check on the baby and make sure everything looks good for you know the main part is a healthy baby <laughs> boy or girl either way we're going to be so excited. On Wednesday afternoon at 6.30, we're going to have the gender reveal like party and gender reveal and do everything for that to tell you guys. And we are going to do a live video. I think I decided on doing a live video. And that way, everybody will find out at the same time as nowadays. Everybody does Snapchat or we'll post a picture right away. And then we get to tell everybody and everybody finds out at the same time because I know everybody's excited to find out then I think that's what we're going to do. I'm pretty sure I decided I'm just doing the live video because I wanted to do a cool like junior reveal video and edit and everything. I want to do like black and white into color and all that kind of stuff. But I decided I think the live video would be better. Nowadays with everybody just posting right away, it'll just be the best thing just to go ahead and do that. Yes, and we are, I think t this afternoon we don't have any plans, so I was trying to plan when we could do our predictions video with all the gender, because I have like almost 40 different like wild tails or little tests, like the ring test. I still need to do the cabbage test and just different things like that to see what the tests say that we're having and put them all together and just get the overall what they all kind of say. Because I bet some of you guys probably have some of them that you're like, it's right if you do this or whatever. And probably some of you, it's been wrong for you guys. So, so it kind of just depends on what you believe and what you think. I think with clay, they're pretty, it's pretty even. So, and this time, the ones that have done so far, they've been leaning towards boy. But I wonder if that's just me like, well, I mean, because everything I answer is more like a boy symptom or whatever you know you never know and with Claire I really thought Claire was a boy because I wasn't sick or anything and so this time I kind of feel about the same so but I have no idea because but the girls are totally different my pregnancies were different but this time it's been about the same as Claire so so I have no idea might we have another little Claire who knows and she is crazy and fun and awesome love her so much but when we went to the doctor I weighed 116 I started out at 112. I feel like I fluctuate from 110 to 120 like most all the time. So I feel like I'm still about the same. When we go to this doctor's appointment, I may have gained more probably by the next appointment because I'll be about halfway, which is crazy. I cannot believe I'm 17 weeks and I'm almost halfway this pregnancy already. It just goes by so fast, especially the third time around when you have two little ones running around trying to keep up with and staying so busy. like. I just feel like it goes by so fast. It's so crazy. I just, it's so crazy. I cannot believe it. I usually halfway is when I really start getting my belly, really start sticking out, and I start getting big the rest of the way. Like halfway through till the end, I'm like huge. So this summer, I'm just going to be huge. And then I just have to work it off after. I have to not worry about it and just, well, I'm still trying to work out, but I'm trying not to do as much and... 
I am watching what I'm eating because I had the just social diabetes last time. Try not to drink like too much sweet tea or have any too have too many sweets and like pastas because I love pasta and like macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes, like are my favorite. But I'm trying to do better, so we'll see when I take that test. I'm really curious how that's gonna go. I just think I'll have it again because I had it clear, but I'm really trying to do better this time. So hopefully that'll help with that. My clothes are feeling so tight. I really need to get my pregnancy clothes out. I have a box of pregnancy clothes somewhere. I have to try to find them. I know they're around this house somewhere. Pretty much that time. Usually about halfway through I start wearing the pregnancy clothes. But I have just been wearing like my stretchy pants or leggings like all winter even before I was pregnant. Just That's just what's in and comfy. And so, but that's probably what I'm going to be wearing too, all, all this whole pregnancy problem. Yeah, the gym is getting a little bit tougher. Like when I go to the gym and I'm doing like, if I do like sit-ups or something where like my belly gets in the way, I feel like I can really feel like the baby lock there. Like when I'm trying to do like, I don't know, thing that like uses my belly muscles is like, oh yeah, I have a baby in there. And like I get more wear out now when I run or do anything like that. It's like, oh my goodness. This is actually harder when you're pregnant, so you try not to do too much. But yeah, you guys asked about our names, if we were going to stick with a K, and I really wanted to ask Joel that, because we have a boy name picked out we've had picked out forever, and that we will probably use, but I don't want to say that because I want to do like a name reveal, and then a girl, I have no idea. I, we actually have two girl names picked out that we like, and I don't want to say it, what they are or anything, but we have a name for the boy well we have a name a family name that we're more than likely going to use for a girl or for a middle name so that gives you maybe if you kind of know some of our family names I don't know if y'all can figure it out but that gives you a little hint to names but and then I do want to do a, a name I think I want to do a name video because I have a lot of names that I like that we're not using and that way you guys can see if you like the names and it would help you guys pick out a name because I know names are so hard to pick out and yeah I definitely want to do that. I feel the baby moves sometimes at night time like in the afternoons we'll like sit down and watch a show together before we go to bed and when I'm really still I can feel the baby move. And the other night I really this week I I was really feeling like flutters and like little just little movements but I was still kind of like is that it or I was like wait you still feel again and like it was just like I was trying to figure out if that's what it was exactly and how I felt about it but I really I think usually it's everything usually happens about halfway you find out the baby is you start getting big you start feeling the baby move when you're halfway through the pregnancy and with both girls halfway that's when I really started to notice them kicking and moving around in my belly and that's like my favorite part I love feeling that that is like one of my favorite parts of pregnancy is feeling the baby move around especially when they get bigger too and you can like see their foot sticking out and stuff that's so cool it's so awesome and i love getting those videos and stuff when they're like moving around so much that's pretty much it i've got more notes on here for us doing the gender predictions test it's gonna be a really fun video i'm gonna get the girls involved in it and all too so that'll be cool and that's about it let me show y'all my belly blah belly now and <laughs> i'm excited today's gonna be so fun and then this is just like a really fun, exciting time finding out what the baby is and all. Oh my gosh, so crazy. Cause then we can start getting stuff ready and get room ready and everything like that. Like I just, I really thought growing up that I would have like a boy and a girl or a girl boy. And then I would have a third. I've always wanted three kids, but I just always thought growing up that I would have three and do, if I already had a boy and a girl, then I would have the third one, I would just do a surprise, like not find out to the end. But now that I have two girls, and I'm having a third, but I really feel like I need to know, like so I can get ready either way. But if you already have boy and girl, and you have girl and boy stuff, it's easier because you already have those things. Now though, if we waited, we wouldn't have any boy stuff if it was a boy. So, and that's even harder, because I think, because boys can't wear girl stuff, but boy, girl... Boy stuff girls could wear, like if you had boys and then had a surprise, but but this scenario would be harder because the boys, like, we would need boy stuff. We couldn't just be like, oh, put pink on the boy, you know. So, and I was getting out stuff the other day, and 
just seeing what we had and everything. And a lot of our stuff is like pink and flowery. And Joel's like, you're not using that if we have a boy. You know that, right? And I was like, uh-oh. We're going to have to, if this is what we're going to be buying, all kinds of stuff. And it's going to probably be expensive. But some things, I'm like, you know, everybody knows we already have two girls. So if the boy is in something pink or has something flowery on it, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. And they grow out of everything so fast babies do so so I don't know we'll see but it would be fun to buy boy stuff of course but then a girl would be so easy because we have all the girl stuff already and Claire's room is already girly and everything's just out we pretty much leave it the same that way but if not we'd have to change it up so I don't know we'll just have to see how it goes and we'll see soon ah I'm so excited hey guys so I'm gonna change my belly now and then we will see y'all for the gender reveal. Other than daily vlogs, we'll see y'all then. And then I'll do an update the next week. I can't believe I'm 17 weeks. That's so crazy. Oh, yeah. I wanted to. So I'm looking on the what to expect app because it'll tell me like each week stuff. And like, so it's the size of a turnip, which is like five inches. That's crazy. Five ounces. So, yeah, the little baby's growing. And I've got 22 weeks. To go. So the baby now can do any kind of like reflexes like swallowing, sucking, and blinking now. That's crazy that the baby's in there blinking its eyes already. And it may even get hiccups at this point. It's growing the fat on its skin. Yeah, so it gives you a few little tips. I'm looking at the baby bump app now. Alright guys, here's my belly. So this is what I'm looking like now with my shirt on. I thought you definitely can tell. And everybody, everybody's starting to ask me now. And like, but they'll say, like at the salon, when I tell them, they'll be like, you don't even look like you're pregnant, but I have my cape on, so it really like camouflages it and covers it up, but that's what I'm looking like. I'm going to share it on. And this is my belly now, Molly is joining us. She is wanting to be in the video. Um, let's see. Oh my gosh. When I look down, I feel like I'm getting huge. I am holy moly. I'm like 33 and a half. 33 and a half already. I think I was like 32 last time, which had been two weeks ago by this video. But yeah, I feel like I'm getting so big. So, so big. And I still feel like I'm carrying kind of low. Let me know what you think. But we're going to do our video soon. I'm going to see what the girls think and Joel thinks about that. But I don't know. I just feel like it's more heavy down through here than I was with the girl. But and then to the front. I'm so excited. See, I just want to know what it is. Ah, so crazy. I just can't imagine, though, like another Kinsley or Claire. But, of course, that could happen. But they would love it either way. I, lo I love all girly stuff and everything. But boy, it would be totally different. I don't know what I'll do then. But we'll see soon. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'm super excited to find out what this little one is. And let me know what you guys think. If you think I'm carrying like high or low. Or if you think it's a boy or a girl. Like, give me your guesses on this video so I can figure out what all you guys think. And... We will see you soon. I'm so excited. I can't wait. And stay tuned because I'll get the gender predictions video up really soon here also. And we'll see what that says. And then the gender reveal. So I'm so excited. And we will see you guys soon. Have a great day.